1번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자가 주문할 셔츠로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Good morning. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to order some uniforms for my cooking club. Would you like long sleeves or short sleeves? It has to be long sleeves. Do you have any particular design in mind? Yes, we'd like to have a tall white chef's hat printed on the front, and we'd also like to put our club name above the hat. Well, let me sketch it out for you. What is your club's name? It's Cooking Paradise. Cooking Paradise. And here is the cook's hat. Well, it looks like something is missing down here. How about writing in Korean under the hat? That would be perfect. 2번입니다. 다음을 듣고 대화가 이루어지는 장소로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Honey, what time is it now? It's a quarter past one. What time is the wedding again? It's at 1.30. Do you think we can make it to the church before the ceremony? I'm afraid not. We have been stuck in traffic for 15 minutes. We should have left home earlier. I hope we can at least arrive in time to take photos with the bride and the groom. Why don't you call my brother and tell him we are on our way? We'd better do that. Oh my gosh! What is it? Did you leave the cell phone at home again? No, not this time. But the battery is out. 3번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 선택한 교통수단으로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Peter, why are you packing your bag this late in the evening? I have to suddenly attend an important seminar in Seoul tomorrow afternoon. Really? But I heard there is a storm coming and all the flights to Seoul have been cancelled. So how are you going to Seoul? Are there any trains available? No. I checked the timetable, and the last train left two hours ago. And if I catch the first train in the morning, I will be too late. What will you do then? I've just called the bus terminal. There is a bus which goes to Seoul overnight. I can sleep on the way to Seoul. Good luck. I hope you make it in time. 4번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액으로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. I'd like to buy two tuna sandwiches and two small cokes. Will that be all? Yes. How much do I owe you? Fifteen dollars. Isn't it fourteen dollars? I ordered two small cokes, and they are three dollars each, and two tuna sandwiches are four dollars each. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my first day here. That's okay. Here is a $20 bill. Thank you. Here is your change. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. 5번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자와 여자의 관계로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Hello, can I speak to Ms. Johnson? Yes, speaking. Who's calling? It's Herbert Brown. Hello, Mr. Brown. How are you? Is everything okay with Mike? I'm afraid not. Mike got hurt during lunchtime. How? Is he badly hurt? While playing soccer, he was injured. But don't worry too much, Ms. Johnson. We think he slightly sprained his ankle. Phew. Oh, what should I do? Could you please come and take him to the hospital? Of course. I'll leave right away. 
6번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 방문한 이유로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. May I help you? Yes, I rented a car from here two days ago. Yes, that blue one. Is there something wrong with it? I'm afraid there is. While driving, I found that the brakes didn't work well. Didn't you check the car properly before you rented it? I did, but at that time it was okay. Well, that car is brand new. I can't understand why there's a problem with it. Are you saying it's my fault that the brakes don't work? I almost had an accident and nearly injured my neck. Calm down, sir. This isn't a big deal at all. Let's go and examine the car with our mechanic now. Okay. And after that, we are going to talk about your rude customer service. 7번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자에게 요청한 것으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르세요. National Daily, may I help you? Yes, I'm a subscriber to your newspaper. I'd like to stop the subscription for a while. Is that possible? Yes, it is. May I have your name and phone number, please? I'm Daniel Hampton, and the number is 212-3489. What date do you want to have the paper stopped? Next Monday, the 17th. When would you like to restart the subscription? On November 14th. As you requested, the paper will not be delivered from October 17th to November 14th. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. 8번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자가 겨울 휴가 때 가려고 하는 곳을 고르세요. Where do you want to go on your winter vacation? I'm not sure yet. Do you have any suggestions? What about France? You will love it there. I've been there before. Yes, it was great, but this time I want to visit a different country. Which countries have you visited? Just France, Italy, and Greece. Then how about Spain or Switzerland? Spain sounds interesting, but Switzerland is better in winter. Thanks. I think I made up my mind now. 9번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남편이 아내에게 준 생일 선물로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Hey, Jessica. How was your birthday? It was wonderful. My husband held a surprise party for me. Everyone who came made me feel very special. And my daughter gave me a cute card and her favorite teddy bear. And are those gold earrings your husband's gift? Oh, you have such a poor memory. I told you before that I bought them myself last year. For my birthday, my husband gave me this expensive watch, which I had wanted for a long time. Do you like it? It looks beautiful on you. Oh, and by the way, thank you so much for sending me those beautiful flowers on my birthday. 10번입니다. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 만날 시각으로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Frank, it's past 11 p.m. Okay. Since we are all exhausted, let's finish. Great. I feel so tired that I don't think I can make it to our 9 o'clock meeting tomorrow morning. I've got an idea. Why don't I give you a ride home tonight and pick you up tomorrow? That way you can get more rest. That's so nice of you. What time will you pick me up? How long does it take from your place to the office? Almost an hour. So I think it's better if we meet at 7.30 in front of my house. Okay. Let's quickly pack our stuff and go home. 
11번입니다. 다음 뉴스 속보를 듣고 무엇에 관한 내용인지 고르세요. This is Chris Armstrong with your Radio 1 Breaking News. Hurricane Julie hit the southern part of the country last night, causing widespread flooding. According to the weather forecast, the heavy rain will not stop for the next couple of days. The National Observatory warns of the possibility of the whole town being underwater. So, for your safety, please leave your home and go to your relatives or friends in other towns before 6 p.m. tomorrow. And for those who can't find a place during this emergency, the National Football Stadium in Orange Town is ready to supply shelter. 12번입니다. 대화를 듣고 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 표에서 고르세요. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes. I'd like to join this fitness center. How much is it? It's $70 a month. But if you pay for three months, you can get a 20% discount. I would like to start with one month this time. How many trainers do you have? We have two trainers. Mike trains the advanced level and Jessica works with the beginners. I prefer the female trainer because I haven't exercised for two years. What are your hours? We are open every day from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Is the swimming pool included in the membership? Yes, it's included. To join, please fill out this form and sign your name here. 13번입니다. 대화를 듣고 런던의 현재 날씨로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Hi mom, it's Tom. Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Are you having a good time there? Actually, not really. How come? You were supposed to go camping with your friends today. I couldn't go because of bad weather. But the sky was clear and sunny two days ago when I arrived in London. What's today's weather like then? We've had a storm here since yesterday. It's been heavily raining and the wind is very strong. So I have no choice but to stay inside the hotel. Oh, Tom, that's too bad. 14번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심경으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Stephen, can you help me for a minute? Now? I can't. I have to do some work on the computer. It won't take long. I have to move this box and it's too heavy for me. But I'm very busy. I must finish this work by 10. Okay, I'll wait. I will just go and do the dishes. Mom... It's too hot in here. Can you turn on the air conditioner? I can't. I'm doing the dishes and my hands are wet. Why don't you do it yourself? But I'm really busy too. Please, Mom. Uh, okay. Stephen, are you playing computer games? Did you lie to me? Um, sorry, Mom. 15번입니다. 다음을 듣고 그림의 상황에 가장 알맞은 대화를 고르세요. 1. I wonder if you could give me a ride. No problem. Hop in. 2. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to visit my uncle. 3. How do you want your hair? I'd like to get a perm. 4. Excuse me, but is this seat taken? No. Let me move my paper. 5. Excuse me, but where is the nearest post office? It's right over there. 
16번부터 17번까지는 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르는 문제입니다. 16번입니다. Is that you, Harry? Yes. Linda? It's been such a long time. We haven't seen each other since we graduated from high school. I know. Good to see you again. What are you doing in New York? I'm working for the Royal Bank here. How have you been? What do you do for a living? I'm working at a construction company. I've been married for four years and I have two kids. Are you married too? Yes. My husband is an accountant. We don't have any kids yet. You and I were such good friends. And we had so much fun together. It seems like yesterday. I can't believe it's been more than ten years. 17번입니다. Karen, is it true that you ride your bike to the office every day? Yes, because it takes less time than driving my car there. How is that possible? It's possible because on every street from my house to the office, there is a bicycle-only lane, so I can commute without any traffic jam. And you can save money, too. It costs you nothing. That's another reason why I started to ride my bicycle. I couldn't possibly afford the high cost of gas. I agree. I'm seriously thinking of using public transportation, too. Also, riding my bike allows me to work out twice a day. 18번과 19번은 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르는 문제입니다. 18번입니다. Mary, I don't know what to do. Why? What's the matter? As you know, my parents are visiting me from Korea this afternoon. And I'm supposed to be at the airport at 4 o'clock right after my 2 o'clock job interview. And you said the interview would only take 30 minutes. Yes, I did. But I just got a call from the company, and they said that the interview will be put off until 3 o'clock. So you won't be able to make it to the airport by 4? No, I can't be at two places at once. Don't worry. I can go to the airport to pick up your parents for you. I don't know how to thank you enough. 19번입니다. Marcia, what's this sticker on your ID card? Oh, this? It means I will donate my organs when I die. What a surprise. How did you come to make such a tough decision? It was after watching a touching story on TV. It was about a man who donated his organs to five people when he died. I watched that story too. People who received his organs looked very happy, as if they were given new lives. Where do I apply if I want to donate my organs too? You can apply at the donation office near St. John Hospital. How can I get the sticker? 20번입니다. 다음을 듣고 이 상황에서 제임스가 했을 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. James called Mr. Kim's office to say that he couldn't make it to their appointment the following day. When he called, Mr. Kim wasn't there. So James had to leave a message to his secretary. In this situation, what would James have to say to Mr. Kim's secretary? <목소리> <목소리> 